Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning something called default values in function parameters. In C++, functions can also have optional parameters for which no arguments are required in the call or in the function call in such a way that, for example, let's say we have a function with three parameters. And and if we use the default value for the parameter in that function, then we can call that function with only two parameters. So just to demonstrate that, I'm gonna write a simple function here before my main function. And it's gonna be a void, you know, which is not gonna return any value. And I'm gonna call it as display. And here, let's say we're gonna have three function parameters let's say int x comma int y and int z so default value to a function parameter is nothing but initializing a default value to this variable here for example i can do z equal to 10 so when we assign some default value to a function parameter if we don't pass the value for this third argument here then the default value assigned will be taken so to demonstrate that what i'm going to do is i'm going to write inside this display c out and i'm going to say x is then uh, x and line and i'm going to copy this and paste it two more times and I'm going to change this one to y and z and here also it's going to be y and z all right now we can call this display function in our main function so it's going to be display and here we can pass three arguments for example let's say we want to pass 20 comma 30 comma 50 so now we have passed three arguments to the display function so 20 will be copied to this variable x 30 will be copied to this variable y and this 50 will be copied to this variable z so i'm going to save this build and run this so you guys can see 20 30 and 50 in x y and z so now i'm going to close it and since we are using the default value for this third parameter, what we can do is we can call this display function with only two parameters. So when we call this function with only two parameters, then the default value assigned for this third parameter will be taken. So I'm gonna save this build and run. So now you guys can see x is 20 which we have passed, y is 30 which we have passed and the z is 10 which is the default value assigned. So also make sure that when you use this default value, you should start it from the right side or the last parameter. Because if I assign the default value to this first variable here, x, then what happens is when we call this display function with two parameters, 20 will be copied to this variable x and, it, and this 30 will be copied to this variable y and since we are not passing any value to this variable z, you know the compiler is going to generate the error. So I'm going to build and run this. So now you guys can see we got the error. So what we can do is we can start assigning the default value from the right side or from the last variable. I can initialize a default value of 10 to this variable z and I can initialize a default value of 30 to the variable y and if I save this and I'm going to remove this 30 here so we will be calling this display function with only one parameter if i build and run this you guys can see x is 20 y is 30 and z is 10 so if if you want you can pass the default value for all the para function parameters also if i want i can pass a value of 5 here and if you do that we can call this display function without any parameters or if you guys want to pass any values to them you guys can do that so just remember that when we assign default values to this function parameters we should start from the last or we should start from the right side all right guys i'm gonna save it and i'm gonna call this without any parameters just for the demonstration purpose it's gonna be yes 530 and 10. 
So this is it. This is about the default values for function parameters in C++. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash learninglad and follow us on Twitter at learninglad.edu and I'll see you in the next tutorial.